Jim Saunders is here today as FanDuel. Hurry up, getting you set for the Saturday only NFL DFS slate by breaking down a stud, a mid range play, and a value over on FanDuel. The stud for me is Jamar Chase, checking in at $8,200 for the Cincinnati Bengals, facing off with the Las Vegas Raiders. The Las Vegas secondary is still not one we need to fear all that much, which, which sets up well not only for Jamar Chase, but also for Joe Burrow and T. Higgins. I think Higgins is a fair value at $6,900, but Jamar Chase leads the team in overall targets, deep targets, and and red zone targets since Higgins' return to the team all the way back in week number five. We saw Jamar Chase's upside. Higgins has that upside too, but if I got the salary, I want to get to Chase. Again, Higgins, a great play too, but Jamar Chase, a top stud for the Saturday-only slate. My favorite mid-range play for the Saturday-only slate is Devin Singletary checking in at $6,900 for the Buffalo Bills because we've seen five games now with Singletary being the lead back for Buffalo. He's at 97 yards from scrimmage per game across that span. We've all seen the red zone role expand for Devin Singletary. The two concerns with him previously were yardage upside and touchdown upside, and both those things have been eliminated recently with Singletary scoring twice in two consecutive games. He's got the role we want. He's on a team that is uh, currently a four-point favorite versus the New England Patriots. Devin Singletary checks every box. If you want a mid-range play that stands out for Saturday, Devin Singletary is your guy. Value plays are pretty tough for the Saturday-only slate, but I do think that Zay Jones grades out well at $5,300. We saw Darren Waller come back on Sunday, and in that game, Darren Waller was involved getting a lot of targets. But Zay Jones still had eight himself in that game. So Zay Jones established himself as a top outside wide receiver for Las Vegas when Waller was out and stayed in that role when Waller returned. In the games Waller has played since the Henry Ruggs release, Zay Jones still has 31% of the team's deep targets for the Raiders. They're facing the Bengals. The Bengals don't give up a lot of deep work to outside wide receivers, but Jones' salary is forgiving at $5,300, so I think he grades that well in a spot where the Raiders may need to throw to keep pace. That's all we got here for today, talking about this Saturday-only slate, but still a lot of wildcard weekend coming up later on throughout this week here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.